Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching you uh, how to do a finger spin, horizontal finger spin. Um, this video was suggested by Zeke White uh, because he wanted to learn how to do it. So um, this is a pretty more like it's getting a lot more popular these type of finger spin tricks. So first of all, there's two ways to do it. You could go throw it like this and then catch it on your finger and bring it back, or you could go like this, throw it the other direction, so the yo-yo is spinning the opposite direction. I kind of messed up there, but you bring it back like that. So, um, so first of all, you want to know what is a good yo-yo to use to do finger spins. So, this is a shutter. It's pretty good. The Horizon's even better. It recently came out, but I never bought one so far yet. But, um, this one's really good because you can see it's kind of flat right here. So it's really good to put your finger. And then uh it's not good. This one's not good. It's the like hub stack afterglow, how it's like completely flat right here. And even if it does have the hub stack, it's like extremely hard to spin on your finger on the hub stack, so anything that's flat you don't want to use. So the more it is like this shutter or anything, the better it is. So um, first of all, I'll be teaching you how to do the one when you throw it like this. This one's a lot easier. It's So first you want to be like how you're throwing like a normal throw. But instead of throwing like a normal throw, you want to bring your hand to the side kind of like this. And then you just put out your hand and throw it like that. And while it's like this, you want to wait for it to start like doing a UFO kind of motion. And you catch it on your finger. So I'll be kind of, I'll be teaching you how to do this without the, uh, without the yo-yo spinning, because it's kind of like a picture trick-ish kind of thing. It's not a picture trick, but it's a lot like one. But, okay, so... Sorry about that. I got a lot of tension right there. Okay, so how you want to do it is first you throw it like this, and then you catch the yo-yo, and you just want to hold it like this and to practice whipping the whipping motion. So you want to, it's a lot easier if you kind of put it over your first two fingers like that, instead of just having that like this. So you go like this, and then you just want to whip the string, like this kind of loop, like right there, right into the gap of the yo-yo. So you want to whip it like right here, like that, right into the gap. So you want to whip it right into the gap, and then it should just shoot back into your hand. And then there's some like kind of cool things like you can kind of do a UFO at the end and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. And then the second way you do it <laughs> Oh my god. The second way you do it is you throw it like a normal breakaway throw. But instead of doing the breakaway throw you like this, but you kind of just bring it sideways like this. You throw it like that, you wait for it to UFO, you catch it on your finger. And then this one's kind of different, it's a lot harder. But it looks pretty cool too. So, the, and there's many ways to do this kind of bind. So you kind of just whip the string over your shoulder is one of my favorite ones. It's one that Paul, Paul Kerbel also does. So you whip it over your shoulder, and then you just want to bring this string right into the gap of the yo-yo, like you're kind of doing a bind but horizontally. And then you just pull it, and then it should come back into your hand. So that's pretty much it. And uh, uh, one of the tips for doing finger spins is that when you're doing the finger spin, you want to have the string away from the yo-yo, because if we put it near it, it will wrap around your finger and go like that and fall down. So you want to keep your hand away from the yo-yo. Another like kind of cool thing to do is to keep it away is put it over your neck like this. And you also want to make your finger like kind of like bent. You don't want it to be like really stiff or it'll go like that. So if it's really stiff, you're it will go all crazy and you want to kind of have uh, it at an edge so your finger at an edge so it like balances on your nail more than balancing on your skin because then uh, you'll get more friction if you have it on your skin so that's pretty much it so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thank you